Hello everyone. In this video I will be showing you the proof for the center of mass and an example on how to calculate it. So first of all, the definition of center of mass is the point on a body through which an unbalanced force can act without causing any rotation. So for example, if you have a rod, if you have a rod and this is its center of mass, you can apply a force on that point and it will accelerate rather than rotate. So how to calculate the formula for, or how to derive the formula for center of mass, uh, I will be showing you right here using this diagram. So consider this system. This is a body with a massless frame. So this is mass equals zero and it has some collection of masses here. So first of all, we have to pick a reference point. This will be our reference point. And it's simply the measured distance between that point and the masses. Here in colors, you can see the distances from the reference point uh, to the various masses. And the center of mass will also be the length from that center of reference uh, to, to, the, to the center of mass. So first of all, let's just, let's just put uh, center of mass on the diagram somewhere. Say it's here and assign a length length L, L, capital L. <clears throat> now let's look at the forces. So here we'll have M5G, here we'll have M4G, M1G. Okay, so let's say we put this, uh, this, this uh, object on some point or on some on some obstacle looks like this uh, and and this point is on the center of mass then we know from the definition that this object will not rotate or fall or anything that it will be in equilibrium now the normal force will just be the sum of all masses so m1 plus m2 plus m3 etc times gravitational constants g so sum of all masses times g right so um we know that the forces are in balance but we also know that the torques are in balance torque is equal to uh the distance cross the force vectors but uh in this uh, case since they're perpendicular we can just say that the torque equals s times f uh, S times F uh, and we will also say that the clockwise torque is positive and the anti-clockwise is negative so let's look at the positive uh, or clockwise torques well we have all the masses uh, and their lengths so M1 uh, G times S1 plus M2 G uh, S2 plus M3. Let me let me remove this. Uh, and the anti-clockwise torque will be the force, the net mass, times G, times the length, right? Because the point is lo located a length L from the reference point, so it's just sum of all masses times g times l so first of all we can equate this to zero since it's in equilibrium and then we can just cancel all the g's g here 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 like this right and we want to solve for l and this is pretty trivial we have the sum of all masses times l sum of all masses times L equal to the sum of all masses times their distances, right? Sum of all masses times the distances. Right. So now, solving for L will be 
just dividing by sum of all masses on both sides, meaning that this will be sum of all masses transfer distances over sum of all masses. Okay. Okay, let's do an example. Here we have a rocket or a missile or whatever this is and it has different components with different weights. Uh, our center of reference will be from the nozzle of the rocket from the beginning, from here. And uh, we have this top being 200 kilos and then we might have two different types of fuel with different densities. Uh, the masses are indicated as such. And we know that the length to the center of mass from the reference point is the sum of all masses times the sum of all distances over the sum of all masses. So let's apply this law. We have <coughs> 0 0.5 meters times 200 kilos plus 400 kilos times 1.1 meter plus uh, 500 kilos times uh, 1.5 meters plus 700 kilos times 2.2 meters plus 200 kilos times 2.9 meters over the sum of all masses 200 plus 400 is uh, 600 plus 500 plus 700 plus 200 is 2000 kilos and when you do the calculation you will get 1.7 meters this means that from our center or our point of reference, it will be one point plus 1.7 meters to the center of mass. So somewhere around here, this is the center of mass. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, see you next time.